Hello everyone. Welcome back my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit. I hope you are good and doing well. And today I'm going to show you how to delete like multiple version of the flow. We can delete manually, but I will show you how to automate these things. And it's easy if you have like more than like one version at a time. So you can delete as a bulk deletion in the flow. If you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel, turn on the bell icon for more updates. So you never will miss any kind of update from my side. Okay, so please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to open flow. So if you are already created some flow, well and good. Otherwise you can create new flow using this button, click and create your flow. So let me search some flow in my org. So you have to search under the quick find like flow, just click on this flow. And once you click on this flow here, now you can see I have lots of, you know, flow. Let me open this first screen flow and click this drop down, view details and version. Now you can see uh, this flow having only one version that is, uh, you know, like this is inactivate yet. Okay, so just let me create some few version of this flow. So let me open this flow here and uh, let me create version here let's say save as new version and again you have to follow this process save as new version i want to create five version that's why i want to show you the real time scenario of this one so right now we have four version let me create another version so we have five version of this flow please observe here so this is the five version here right so just go back here and once you go back in the setup, in the flows, you can select five version. So any here you can see, you cannot see any kind of, you know, like activation version. Only you can see like active, active, deactivation, not there. Why? Because right now these all version are inactive. Let me activate this, you know, five version. So here you can see this is the activate version here. Like active. Okay. On four are uh, inactive. So how to delete this all, you know, version? We can delete using this one by one, this delete option, but uh, this is a traditional way to delete it because of, you know, like in, in future in your org, we have like lots of version because Salesforce have some limitation in the flow version. We can create up to 50 version of the flow. That's why we can delete that kind of, you know, version here. So instead of manually we can create or we can delete we can delete the version using you know salesforce inspector so let me open my sales inspector and here this is the sales inspector click on data export let me remove this query under here you have to write some query regarding this flow and this is the one time job next time you will become here Definitely no need worry about to write the single line of code. Just you can press the run export. It's automatic showing all the data based on your query. So let me select like select. We have to use like fair close. Under the where we have to use like flow definition view API. This one flow definition view API name. Copy it. And the uh, API name here you can see the flow name like first underscore screen you can find out this api name under the flow and now you can see immediately my flow you know like version number status and the flow definition name and this is the flow id right and also let me add the label as well like label so it's easy to handle it right so let's say label so you can see the label as well first screen and draft everything right so just please observe once you write this you know like a query after that you have to use another you know like condition to check uh, where and how many flow version you want to delete it from this you know like uh, data so i i want to delete only one two four so i can select like and and the version number so version number uh, like uh, less than five so let me execute. So now you can see the correct order and one to four. 
I want to delete this flow version. So this is the correct SQL. So how to delete it? Very simple. Just copy, you know, like copy Excel format. Just copy it and uh, you can open here like data import. Under the de data import, just you have to please make sure you have to check this use tooling API. Otherwise, you cannot see that option that is called flow. So you have to select like flow. Now you can see the flow and just paste it your data here. Once you paste it and let me show you one by one here. Let me duplicate it. First, let me show you the version of the flow. Let's go back and in the org and this flow having like five version. I want to delete like four version like one to four. So after some time you will be not see this one two three four version. Once we execute this, uh, you know, like import wizard or this import, you know, like you know, configure import. And this is a delete operation. And once you select it and make sure you can delete at a time 10 and like thread one. And you have to map this durable ID with the you no know, Salesforce ID. So we have like a durable ID. You have to change it like ID. So now you can see the ID and all you can is keep it in a single way like this once you skip it now you can see the run delete so we have four records just click on this run delete and proceed and after some time you can see the status like success and once you go to the this flow version of this flow you cannot see any you know like one to four version so once you refresh it so it's automatic deleted here so now you will be see only five version why because we already deleted like four version here that's why you can see only five version so this is the way to delete uh, like a number of flow version in a single click so if you have like this query uh, so you can easy extract it and just import that record and click on this run delete and it's automatic delete your you know flow version immediately so guys, I hope you learned something new in this video. If you feel like this is the very more informative for us. So please like, share, comments and please subscribe the channel for more updates. So you never miss any kind of update from my side. So till then, bye bye. Take care. See ya. Thank you for watching guys.